Welcome to my lecture online. Next, we're going to learn how to simplify polynomials. And we're told to simplify, poly simplify polynomials by adding like terms. But what does that mean? What are like terms? Well, terms with the same degree are like terms, assuming there's only one variable in each term. But what if we have more than one variable, then the terms must have the same non-numerical coefficients with the same degree. All right, it's probably better to illustrate what that really means. Here we have an example of like terms with only one variable, the variable x, and notice in each case the variable x is raised to the second power, so the variable in each term has the same power, the same degree, and therefore they can be considered like terms. Here we have an example where there's more than one variable, both a and b are variables. They're what we call non-numerical coefficients. They're coefficients because, or they're factors that are multiplied together. And notice that in each case, a is raised to the first power and b is raised to the second power. So a has the first degree, b has the second degree, but it's the same for every term. Therefore, those terms are what we call like terms. On the third example, notice all, both terms have an a, a b, and a c in them, but even though a has the same power, b has the same power, c does not. c is raised to the first power, and c is raised to the third power there, therefore they're not called like terms, they're unlike terms, and we cannot add those together. These are like terms, and they can be added together. For example, 3x squared added to minus 5x squared out of the 2x squared, well, 3 plus 2 is 5, minus 5 is 0. The answer would be 0 if we were to add those terms together. Here, if we add these three terms together, we have 3 plus 6 is 9, minus 5 is 4. The answer would be 4ab squared. And here, we would not be able to add those terms together because they are not like terms. So next, let's say we have a polynomial like this with a number of terms. Notice there's only one variable and the variable has different powers. Now, some of the terms are the same, some of the terms are not the same. So if we're going to simplify a polynomial, we're going to add like terms together, and we're advised to start with the highest power. The highest power is this term right here, x to the third power. Notice there's only one term that contains that power, so I'm going to rewrite that over here, 5x cubed, and then I'll put a line through this term because I've already used it up. Now I look for the next power, which is the power 2, and notice I have two terms, this one and this one, they're both the same. So we have 3x squared, we have 4x squared. I can simplify that polynomial by adding those two together. I'm going to rewrite this 3 right there, there that's better. And so 3x squared plus 4x squared is equal to 7x squared. So now if I, I've combined the two like terms, I can now put a line through that so I don't use them again and makes it easier to find the remainder terms. Now, remainder, I have a 2x, a minus 2x, and a plus 5x. They're both to the first power, so these two are the same. I can add those two together. Minus 2 plus 5 is a plus 3x. Now I got rid of those two, and now I have just one term left, 1 to the 0 power, so that I write at the end, minus 3. And what I've done is I've rewritten the very same polynomial in a simplified form by adding like terms together. And that's exactly what we mean when we're trying to simplify by adding like terms together. We find the terms that have the same variable and the same power of each of the variable in the term. And then if they're the same, we can add them. And this is how we determine if they're the same or not the same. And that is how it's done.